just about to start my workout for today. This workout is going to be nice and short, only 20 minutes long and only two exercises, only one piece of equipment. I am using a set of 10 pound dumbbells. So if you have a set of dumbbells that you would like to use and they are flat on the bottom, go ahead and grab them. If your dumbbells are rounded on the end, please do not use them for this exercise. It is not safe. We are doing espressos. So this is an exercise I do frequently. I'm not going to go through it in a lot of detail. I will talk you through the first rep, but as always, if you need um, to see it in some more detail or you need to see beginner modifications, please just ask. Um, if you do not have a set of dumbbells that are flat on the bottom, then instead of espressos, you can just substitute with any burpee variation of your choosing. The only other exercise you're doing is 360 lunges. Um, that is also an exercise I've done many times before in the past, but not recently. So if you are a recent follower, you probably haven't seen these yet, but they're super easy. It's very self-explanatory. Again, I will explain it when we get there, but I have very little time today. So I'm just going to go ahead and get right into this. There's no rest interval per se, but there kind of is. So here's the format. I have my timer set for 20 second intervals, 40 second intervals and 20 rounds, so that's 20 minutes. The 20 second interval is to do one espresso, okay? So hopefully that will just take a few seconds, hopefully less than 10 seconds, and then with the remainder of that 20 second interval, that is when you have your opportunity to rest, okay? So in the beginning, you're gonna have a lot of time to rest, and then as we get into the workout, deeper into the workout, you get more fatigued, um, you may be struggling to fit in that one espresso or that one burpee in that 20 second interval. So just do your best. Um, but two intervals, 20 seconds and 40 seconds, 20 rounds, that's 20 minutes. So we are starting with our 20 second espresso slash rest interval. I will talk you through the first rep and then I will talk you through our first 40 seconds of 360 lunges. It's a lot of numbers and it sounds complicated. It is so simple. It's just two exercises. We're going to be done in 20 minutes. So let's go ahead and get started. If you have a set of dumbbells that are flat on the bottom and they are safe to use for this and they are a good weight for you. Again, my dumbbells are 10 pounds a piece, which is a good weight for me. You may need something lighter or heavier. That depends on your strength and on your level of fitness. So please make the decision that is best for you. Take a few minutes to make sure you're good and warmed up when you're ready. Let's get started, okay? If you need to warm up, pause the video, do your little warm up, and come back when you're ready to start. I've already done my warm up. I'm gonna get right into it. So, as soon as I press my timer, you're gonna hear a beep. That's the start of our first 20 second interval. I'm gonna do an espresso as quickly as I can with proper form, and then um, I have the rest of that interval to rest before we start our lunges, ready? So, starting in three, two, one. This is our 20 second interval. I'm going to come down grab my dumbbells. Do a push up on the dumbbells. Row, row, jump the feet back, stand, hammer curl, overhead press, and put the weights back down. So now with the rest of this interval, we're going to rest. Now here's our lunges 360 lunges. So it's just what you might think 360 means, we're going in a circle, okay? So I'm doing three, or uh, two forward lunges, two side lunges, and two reverse lunges. One of those on each side, okay? But I'm traveling in a circle. So if you would think that you have like paint on the bottom of both of your shoes, okay? And every time you step, you're making a dot on the floor. That's our first 40 seconds of 360 lunges. Now, one espresso. Put the weights down, back to our 360 lunges. So, I'm making a dot here. Now I'm making a dot here. Now I'm making a dot behind me. Now a dot behind me on the other side, a dot here, and a dot here. Okay, so think of making, leaving a little trail of dots behind as you lunge and making a circle. Okay, 
360. So I think that makes perfect sense. Forward lunge, side lunge, reverse lunge, and now continuing on the other side, reverse lunge, side lunge, forward lunge. Espresso.
your brain is not full of mush right now, like mine is, you can remember where you left off last time um, at the end of your last 40 second interval and pick it up there. Like I'm pretty sure that at the, at the end of the last 40 second interval, I had only completed up to my side lunge on this side. And so I owed that forward lunge in order to make myself even. So I might have chosen to start there, like kind of start wherever in the circle you left off. Um, I don't have space in my brain right now to do that. So I'm just starting from the same spot with each round and trying my best to complete, um, like complete a full circle. What am I trying to say? You know what I'm trying to say, like end up having completed like an even amount. There's probably a much better way to word that, but like I said, kind of turned that one into a walking lunge. It's okay. Especially with the added time it takes me to go and like fetch my dumbbells before I do my espresso and then take a few steps forward to return them to their spot so that they're out of my way while I'm doing my lunges. That is, you know, taking a few seconds. And as I fatigue, my actual espresso itself is probably getting much slower. So I'm really having to rush during that 20 seconds just to do that one rep of espresso. So not really getting much rest, if any, out of this 20 second interval, but it's okay. When the uh, when there's no cardio, and we're doing just strength training exercises, 
I find that I don't need as much rest. So I'm okay. But um, obviously if you need to rest, rest. If you need to skip um, an espresso, go ahead and take one entire 20 second interval to rest, okay? Do that a few times if you need to. Just keep track of how many espressos you skipped, or burpees, whatever exercise you're doing there. Wait for the plan and I'll finish the thought. This format is going by really fast for me. So I don't know how close to 20 minutes we are. I'll take a peek right now, but I really do like the way this format is working with these two exercise, these two exercises. I like the way we're moving right along. I think these exercises work well together and they work well for this format. So I just picked up my timer, a couple more lunges, and then we have two more rounds to go. Okay, so this is our second to last espresso on the day. I believe. I hope I didn't lie to you. We might have two more after this. Yeah. <laughs> Forget. 
forget everything I said in the last 40 seconds. Pretend I'm saying it now. So, we're gonna finish up this set of lunges. And then we have two rounds left, okay? So two more espressos, two more 40 second intervals to do as many 360 lunges as you can. So now this is our second to last espresso. Unless I managed to read my timer wrong twice in a row, which is a possibility. Don't put anything past me. This is our final round. I will confirm after I complete what I believe to be my final espresso of the day. Yeah, this is our uh, last 40 seconds. So with this round, if the timer beats on in the middle of my circle, I'm just gonna complete the circle. So at least I'll stay even as much as possible. Okay, so there's our 20 minutes. I just owed one forward lunge to complete my circle and keep things even. We're almost done. We have just one rep left to go. If you follow my workouts regularly, you know that no workout of mine is ever complete until we have done our bonus burpee. So even if you've been doing burpees the whole time instead of espressos, you still have to do one more. It's only 21 on the day. It's not that bad. Okay, and this is our final rep of the day. So when you are ready, let's do our bonus burpee together and then the workout will be officially complete. Tell me I did not start my watch. I did not start my watch. All right, I told you my brain is next to useless today. It's fine. So I don't know how many calories I burned. My watch thinks I was a lazy pants today, but it's fine. I know I did the reps. I feel great that I got out here today and got this done. Even with very little time and very little space and little to no equipment, you can find 20 minutes and just get something done. It's always better than doing nothing. Typically after a workout this short, I would grab my jump rope and add on another 30 minutes or so of moderate paced cardio with my jump rope. But I don't have time to do that today, but that's always an option. So if you feel like you want a little more, you can take a breather and do another round or two of that. That's fine. Um, or you can add on some additional cardio, jump rope, uh, exercise, bike, treadmill, or you can go for a bike ride in real life or a jog. If you have a pool or access to one, you can go for a swim. You can go for a hike. Um, totally optional, but um, if I had more time, I would add on about 30 minutes of additional cardio with my jump rope. So if you want to do that, that is your option. But that's all I have time for today. So as always, if anything was unclear about the exercises we were doing today, if you have questions about how to do them with proper form, please ask because I don't have time to go over all the points of proper form in this video today. 
But unless you are 100% confident that you know how to do lunges and you know how to do push-ups and you know how to do plank rows and hammer curls and all the things we were doing today with proper form, I would prefer that you reach out and ask me and I will be more than happy to help you with that. And also, of course, if anything is unclear about the format, um, I think it's pretty straightforward. And also remember that I always type everything out. I type out all the instructions in the description box below the video. So you just watch me do it, read the description box, um, read the instructions. And if you still have questions about the format, if anything is unclear, just ask me. I'm always more than happy to help with that. And of course, if you need to see beginner modifications, ask, and I will always be more than happy to show you those as well. If you did this workout with me today, thank you very much. Please let me know what you thought of it and how you did. Thank you to everyone who has been working out with me lately. Thank you to all of the new subscribers. And of course, thank you if you have been subscribed for years. I appreciate all of you very much. Um, thank you for watching, even if you're not doing the workouts with me. Thank you for watching the videos and sharing them and liking them and commenting on them. And especially thank you to those of you who have been commenting with the secret code phrase of the day. So before I wrap this up, I will give you today's secret code phrase of the day. It is, these pretzels are making me thirsty. So if you are still watching this video, thank you. Please let me know that someone is still watching, that someone watched all the way to the end by going down to the comment section and leaving me a comment that says, these pretzels are making me thirsty. That is it for today and I will see you all next time. Bye.